Peyton McKinney's story is one that has shaped the culture of the West Holmes football program in a major way. The true impact of an individual is how they shape the future of an institution after they have left that institution. Peyton's leadership, toughness, selflessness, effort, and attitude have all left an unbelievably positive impact on our football family that will last for years to come. After shredding our arch rival in the first game of his junior season in 2019, Peyton unfortunately tore his ACL on the final play of the game while securing the first down that iced a Knights victory. Facing this adversity, he did not falter. He showed up to every practice. He did whatever he could to help the team. He was like having another coach on the sideline during his junior season as he worked with Noah Clark to make Noah the best quarterback he possibly could be. The relationship that developed between Peyton and Noah is something so very special. I told our upperclassmen in a meeting a few weeks ago that no one can ever look anyone in the eye in this program again and be selfish. After watching how these two talented young men handled themselves these past two years, a true bond developed between them as they always support each other and only cared what was best for the team. Peyton was working so very hard to rehab from his injury when a week and a half into our 6 a.m. lifting, COVID shut us down in March of 2020. For all of our athletes, this was tough physically, mentally, and emotionally. But imagine what this would be like for a young man coming off an injury, facing a competitive position battle at the quarterback position. Even with this immense adversity, Peyton continued to fight. He continued to work. He continued to get better. Peyton obviously wanted to be the starting quarterback when the 2020 season started, but it didn't turn out that way. His actions following his personal disappointment are a template for anyone to follow in life when they face things that don't go their way. How he acted will be a story we tell all the players that come through our program. Peyton didn't pout. He didn't shut down. He did not become a cancer in the locker room. Even though it didn't go the way he wanted, he continued to work hard. He continued to set a proper culture for our team. He made the most of every opportunity he got to improve. Whether it was practice, scrimmages, games, every rep he took, he knew it was important. And it was an opportunity for himself to get better. Peyton even asked where he could help the team at other positions and ended up playing on the defensive line and making some major plays for us early in the season. That is selflessness. When the opportunity finally arose, Peyton stepped back into the quarterback position and he made the most of it. He led us to a huge regular season win over the number two seed in our region, Ashland. This win ultimately led to a share of the OCC championship and built momentum for a deep playoff run. During our season-defining playoff victory over Padua Francescan in the regional quarterfinals, Peyton completed a school record 99-yard touchdown pass to Brady Taylor that electrified Knight Nation. And poetically, he put the Knights ahead for the first time in the game by scoring a touchdown, running the ball into the end zone on the same play he tore his ACL on 14 months ago. If it was a movie, you couldn't have scripted that any better. On the game-winning drive facing a third and medium, Peyton scampered for a pivotal first down and put his team in position to cash in the game-winning score. That Saturday afternoon with your best friends, Peyton, will be memories to last a lifetime. And I look forward to you guys getting to reminisce about that October Saturday afternoon you all spent in Parma. As I sit here reflecting on everything you have gave to this program, Peyton, and how we have all watched you grow into an exceptional young man, it is hard to not get emotional. With the grit, talent, passion, and character you have shown in your high school years, it is obvious that you will be able to do anything you set your mind to in life. And just like we've enjoyed watching you grow during high school, we will enjoy watching you thrive in your adult life. Thank you, number 18. We love you.